All right, this is going to be cut into the intro because I think I forgot to mention it, but you guys um, have agreed that you want to see the Spider-Man series return. So next episode, which will be on Sunday, the next time I'll upload because I've been uploading every other day. This is going up on Friday. Yeah, Sunday will be episode two of the Spider-Man series. So look out for that. And I am i don't know what part of the video I'm going to put this in somewhere in the beginning. So future me, take it ahead. Yeah, ahead? That's actually past. Enjoy. All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Toronto, not Toronto, to this Vancouver Huskies 2K21 expansion franchise. As you know, in episode 21, we faced the Kings, and I have decided that I'm not going to play full games. If I want to play a game, I'll go into SimCast and play it. And as you can see, we have three games coming up against the other expansion team, the Emeralds. So, were we at home for this game? We were. So, you know what? We're going to SimCast the away game against the Emeralds. And then we'll probably sim to maybe around February, the beginning of February. Um, we'll see if I want to make any trades at that point. Because as of right now, I'm on, honestly fine with the team. The game just crashed. Okay. I, I don't know what the hell happened, but it just tabbed me out of the game for no reason. But, um, like I said, I like the team as is. George Hill could be on the trade block because I don't think we're making the playoffs. So, George Hill and maybe Tim Hardaway Jr. could be traded for um, to a contender. Same thing with Wesley Matthews, Urson. This is more like a realistic rebuild. Um, so, I mean, let's just sim cast this. We'll sim to this game, actually, first. And see how our team's doing. We lose to the Eclipse by 20. And we lose to the Emeralds by 54. No. 20. 44. 44 points. Mellow. Mellow dropped 24 on us. Monk dropped... Wow. That ain't looking so good. Ain't looking so good at all. Simulate with SimCast. I am a first round pick from the Suns. It is 2024 though. For Tim. I'm going to decline that for now. But I'll keep that in my back pocket. Alright. Let's simulate this game against the Emeralds. We got back to back against them. And we're in this game. We actually have a three point. Oh. Oh. Uh, b -b 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 two point game. One point game. Okay. We're up by three. I'm going to jump in with the mini 25 left. All right, in the game here, uh, we have Kelly Olenek, Chris is done. We have the starters in, I believe. I think these are starters. Chris Dunn is tired. No, Melo got the steal. Go, go, Michael Porter. Don't let Melo do this. Michael Porter Jr. with the defense. I thought it was a block. Give it up to Tim Hardaway Jr. Everyone's tired. Oh, I meant to shoot it. I didn't. Okay. Give it up to Kelly Olenek. Going to put Melo in the post. He can't, he can't do nothing against him. Oh, that was a bad shot, Kelly. Come on. That's Carmelo. Oh, oh no way that's going in. Carmelo misses. Give it up to Michael Porter Jr. Oh, he's going right to the rack. Michael Porter Jr. Most likely puts a dagger. He's got 18. I even checked the stats. Chris Dunn's got 10. Hardaway's got 13. Kelly Olenek's got 10 and 9. And Okafor's got 10 and 8. So, oh, oh, Malik Monk gives it up to Mo Wag Wagner, Mo Wagner, and he. I actually like this Emerald Court. It's pretty solid, except for the low quality center logo. And Chris Dunn's gonna get fouled, and we're most likely gonna walk out with the W. And with that, we are gonna walk out of Seattle with a seven-point victory as we get the last shot. Cause you know, after they destroyed us last game. We got to get our revenge. 108 to 99. We defeat the Seattle Emeralds on their home floor. Box score for the Emeralds. Otto Porter had a really good game. 18.7 for 10. Melo played like ass. I'm not even going to say anything else. RJ Barrett, he fouled out. That's why he wasn't in the game. He played amazing. 23 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 7 for 11, and 2 for 4 from 3. And my, These two right here, they're here to stay. They are the duo of the future. Porter Jr. and RJ. 22-6 and six from Porter Jr. Shot well besides from three. Hardaway had a good all-around game. Chris Dunn, he's obviously not going to be the point guard for long term because I want a point guard that can play make, which we might try and look for this episode on the trade block. All right, so we are going to now sim. I'm going to sim to Christmas. I didn't know we had a Christmas game, to be honest with you. And, oh, I hit regular C. Ku Hold on. We can get Kuzma? Hmm. Kelly's obviously playing great. He's on a bad team. 
He's averaging 15 and 9 on really good shooting. And then Wesley Matthews isn't doing much for us. We get Markeith and Kuzma. I think we'll maybe rework this trade. I'll give you Wesley Matthews, but I really don't want Markeith. All right, I'm going to see if this trade's going to go down. Kelly Olenek, Wesley Matthews, and Ernst Hanel is over Kuzma. And I added in um, Rondé Hollis Jefferson because he's still young. He's only 25, and he's having a really good season for the Lakers. So let's see. I also threw in a second round pick and it go our first trade of the series. And I think I'm going to move Rondé to the small forward. He goes to a... He actually stays the same overall, which I am perfectly fine with. Um, so Hollis Jefferson moves back up to a power forward, and there it is. Now, our new lineup consists of not George Hill. We mind, I, eh, should we give George Hill? Nah, we're not going to give George Hill the start. He's actually been killing it off the bench except for his shooting stats. That's the only thing not so well. But we'll still start um, Kendrick... Not Kendrick Nunn. Um, Chris Dunn, they'll get the same amount of minutes. Um, Rondé, okay, I, I don't like Doug McDermott playing, to be honest. We don't need him. We'll run a nine-man rotation. Yeah, a nine-man rotation is perfectly fine. And let me just fiddle with the minutes. All right, here we go. We got Kendrick, not Kendrick, none, damn it. Chris Dunn, RJ Barrett. I did slide Kuzma to the small forward position. I'm not sure what his foot speed is, if he can actually keep up with small forwards. Um, but I figured we just traded for him, so I'm not going to have him come off the bench. His offensive consistency is a 45. That's ass. Um, where's his speed? Lateral quickness is 75. Okay, that's not terrible. 72. We can work on it. I'm going to keep him at the small forward. Um, and then I might start looking for trades for George Hill and Tim Hardaway Jr. very, very soon. Um, we'll go to this Raptors game first and see how the team performs before. I'm going to leave it as is. And hope, hopefully, I probably should have scouted. Two first round picks for Kyle Kuzma. An OKC swap best in a Houston unprotected. I'm not going to do that, but God, that was tempting. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. Um, simulate through date. We destroyed the Thunder. Okay, and George Hill is back. So... That's good. We are 3-7. and seven. Let's go check our stats. Um, RJ Barrett still killing it. 24 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, shooting very good percentages so far compared to his rookie season. Michael Porter Jr. also balling out. I am getting a cramp. I right, just got a massive cramp, but we'll just ignore that. Um, Tim Hardaway Jr. is averaging 13 on bad efficiency, so he might be traded. Um, Kyle Kuzma actually picked it up a lot. He went from 9 to 13 points. He scored 14 points, 13, 20 on bad efficiency, 11 on bad efficiency. Okay, I mean, he's playing solid. He had 22 points in one of the first games with us, so I have faith in Kuzma. I have faith in Kuzma. What's this? This is my con. I think I might see. Well, obviously, you're going to see what your worth is. George Hill's playing really well, so his trade value is going to be almost as high as possible because he's having his best year since 2016 with the Jazz. He's averaging 12 points off the bench. Um, Jalil Oak for 11 and 7. No blocks or steals, though. He still he might be the starting center for the rest of the season. But like the defense, Jalil, I need you to go back to that rookie year form. Rondé's averaging 9. Obviously, his stats went down, but he's still playing very well. Chris is done, not playing very he's been getting a lot of steals. He's a bench point guard. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna look for trades um for Ron not Rondé, um George Hill and Tim Hardaway Jr. and see what we can find. All right, uh, this trade popped up. You know what? I'm going to do it. George Hill in a second-round pick for Vernon Carey Jr. and Cody Martin. Vernon Carey is having an all-right rookie season. He's barely playing. I'm not sure if I'm going to send him to the G League or not, but I know what I'm going to do is um, edit the Hornets players because they have no shooting guards. Like, I mean, LaMelo, I'm not sure if he's going to play shooting guard in real life. He is 6'7", so it makes sense for him to play shooting guard. Devontae... Did play a lot of shooting guard this past season. So I'm going to put Devontae to a shooting guard. And maybe Terry Rozier to a shooting guard. Just so they don't have an over... Because they don't even have a backup shooting guard. Just so they don't have an overabundance of players at point guard. So we're going to move also Terry Rozier to a shooting guard. I know some people don't like Finnick King with... Um, what you call it? With the positions. But sometimes you just have to do it for the sake of... 2k because 2k is just bad sometimes with that 
So now they don't have an overabundance of point guards. And we're going to look for a trade for Tim Hardaway Jr. Hopefully a point guard. Okay, here is a big trade. We're going to do Tim Hardaway Jr. and Jalil Okafor to the Nuggets for RJ Hampton. And I'm going to try and get a first round pick out of them. Uh, this trade actually makes sense. They have a backup point. They have two backup point guards now. Apparently they got Reggie Jackson in trade. Um, but they have no backup small forward. And they have no backup center. They, they had the Goat Bowl Bowl. But no actual backup center. So this trade makes a lot of sense for... I, why did this trade override on? Oh, the John Wall trade I made. All right. Um, they had a second round pick. And can't... I don't want this dude. So you know what? You can have the second round pick. Done deal. Let me shut trade override off. I forgot I did that for the John Wall, Russell Westbrook thing. Trade override off. Um... All right, here is a new starting lineup going into the game against the Raptors. We have RJ Hampton at the starting point guard position. RJ Barrett, Kyle Kuzma, Michael Porter Jr., and Robert Williams. I traded away Okafor. I wanted to keep him, but Robert Williams is just a much better defender than him. So, I mean, look at his per 36 numbers. They're amazing. So, we're going to give Robert Williams a start. He's only 23. He's a very, very solid player. He is undersized center at 6'8". My, our power forward, Michael Porter Jr., is taller than him. But we'll give him a chance. Chris Dunn slides to the bench. I have a feeling this position is just a lot better for him. Rondé Hallis, Jefferson, Vernon Carey, and Shaq Harrison. This team's defense is pretty damn good, especially off the bench. So let's simcast this game against the Raptors and hope we can maybe catch a Christmas Day dub. All right, here we go. Simcast in this Raptors game. Let's see if we'll be able to jump in. We got the two Canadian teams going at it on Christmas Day. Oh, okay. Raptors are... Oh, there's 53 seconds left. I simmed way too far. Well, we're still going to jump in. All right, here we go. We actually have the ball here. Um, I don't know why our starters aren't in, but Chris Dunn's in the game. Oh, there's RJ Hampton. All right, so this is an interesting um, dilemma lineup. I don't know why it's a dilemma. Kyle Kuzma, can he get open? He is, but that's a cold spot. He drains it. Was that? It was a 3-1 point game, 41 seconds. Kyle Kuzma only has 10 points. Chris Dunn off the bench. Obviously, he's playing very well because, you know. He's just fit for that role. He's fit for a bench role. He's a very, very solid bench player. Oh, Kuzma on Siakam. I don't like that. He slides right by, and now it's a three-point game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got to get an open look again. RJ Barrett, I'm not sure if you're really the player I want to shoot a three. But we're going to go for it. RJ Barrett for three. It's off. We're going to have to foul that RJ. That was a big shot. Aaron Baines. Makes the first, and this game is kind of out of reach now. All right, here we go. We're down by five. This game's basically out of reach, but screw it. I got my three-point lineup out. Good thing we kept Doug McDermott. He's shooting seven for 25, and he's the player of the game. Really? We're going to try and get a play in for Doug McDermott. The oh, no, no, no. 2K, what was that animation? Okay, uh, this is bad. This is really bad. We're not going to be able to get a shot off, are we? We're on the floppy route. Why is it taking so long to run the route? Effing 2K, man. It took five years for Doug. We weren't going to win anyways. But it took five years for McDermott to run the floppy route. Why is that the case, too? All right, we lose by five. RJ Barrett shot not well, but he had a good game. 24, 8, and 4. I mean, you're a number one option. I expect you to shoot like that. Michael Porter Jr. fouled out, of course. 13, and 6. Chris Dunn, very good game off the bench. RJ Hampton, first game with us. 12, and 9. That's why I traded for you for those assist numbers. Kuzma played solid. Robert Williams played really well, and he also fouled out, so that makes sense. But that's going to be for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. Be prepared for that Spider-Man series to continue. GG.